I got here the Realme 6 Pro, probably the most popular smartphone in the country right now. See that? Oh my god. A lot of hype is around this phone. And this is the Vivo V19 Neo, also quite popular. But yes, a lot of you guys have asked me, Vince, which one of these two has the better camera? Is it the Realme 6 Pro or the Vivo V19 Neo? Oh, by the way, here are the specs on these phones. The Realme 6 Pro has a 64 MP quad camera setup. That is a little bit bigger than the Vivo V19 Neo. But if you're always watching my video, Videos, you already know that but megapixel count is just a part of it overall image quality is always based on the combination of the hardware or lenses and the software these two phones are priced the same who has the better camera well let's find out and without further ado let the battle begin no All right, here we go. Now the first thing that you will notice is the difference in color, sharpness, and detail. Right away, you could notice the far more sharper image on the Vivo V19 Neo, even revealing most, if not all, of the crown at the center of the flower. Although the Realme 6 Pro does a good job as well, revealing a decent amount of detail. But as you can see, the Vivo V19 Neo takes it here, right from the get-go. And here's another good looking shot. Both can definitely produce some really nice bokeh in the background. But if you look closer, you can see that pixel by pixel the Vivo V19 Neo has some monstrous lenses, retaining so much more detail than the Realme 6 Pro. The Realme 6 Pro looked a little soft in comparison. Now here's a surprise. This was actually hard to figure out on which was better, both delivering amazing image quality. These kind of shots are impossible to do, well almost impossible, on DSLR cameras. And sometimes it requires very expensive lenses. But yeah, since software and smartphones these days are getting so good, the possibilities are now endless. And right here, we see that every bit of detail is there, even at the edges of the image. They both look amazing, but I would say that the Vivo is a little bit better, which captures the scene more naturally. Yes, that is right. That is definitely the building we have here in real life. Okay, and here's a totally new look, the ultra wide angle lens. It looks like everything is stretched out a bit at the corners, giving you that fish eye effect. Now, since this ultra wide view is using a different kind of lens with a lower megapixel, kind of loses the details and sharpness a bit. Well, at least for the Realme 6 Pro, the Vivo Vivo V19 Neo definitely has a sharper looking image here. Here's another sample of that ultra wide view, and this time checking out that dynamic range. Look at this part right here. The plants are looking really clean and visible. On the Vivo V19 Neo, the Realme 6 Pro still has a bit of darkness there. Also, the sky here on the Vivo V19 Neo has a more balanced sky, while the Realme 6 Pro up here is kind of bright. The Vivo definitely has more balanced lighting all over the image, and that is why I think it clearly has an edge in outdoor shots. Now what about ultra macro shots? This is so interesting to me because I really love macro close-up shots like this as the subjects look gigantic. Look at that. The Realme 6 Pro manages to do the picture some justice here. But again, the Vivo V19 Neo is just too good. Vivo truly has put some really mad lenses on his phone. And here's the vlog test in broad daylight. How does it compare to the Realme 6 Pro? What about the skin tones? Which has better skin and which has better color? Now testing out the stabilization. Which one has a more stable look? More gimbal-like? If you ask me, it would be the Vivo. And here's the self video in broad daylight. Oh, the dynamic range of the Realme 6 Pro is better. Self but it looks, looks like, like my face is better on the Vivo. Okay. And now it's time for the low light images. This is the true test of camera phones. Now using the default photo mode here, you can see that both really do struggle in low light, especially in super dark areas. It's a good thing that both have night modes and bam, do you see that? The difference in quality of both phones. This was a clear win for the Vivo V19 Neo, hands down. It not only revealed the night skies, suddenly you see the night sky, and it also revealed so much more, plus the building looks a lot cleaner now. And the Realme 6 Pro, however, still looks quite dim. Although some of the noise and grain was cleaned out, it just couldn't match the Vivo V19 Neo in terms of overall image quality. Now what I'm about to show you is something incredible. Still the same, both very dark using the photo mode. Rainy 
and noisy, but when we use the night mode on both phones, voila! Now at this rate, the Vivo V19 Neo is capable of shooting really high quality photos in low light. It is able to unlock other possibilities that was never done before, such as night sky photography, stargazing, and such. Vivo definitely bumped up its super night mode on the Vivo V19 Neo. It clearly demolishes the Realme 6 Pro. Looks like the Vivo V19 Neo is finishing things up here with Thanos. Guys, I put out all the light here in this room. It is pitch dark here. This is the super low light test. Now going to night mode, bam. Man, how did Vivo do it? It's like magic. To give you an idea of how dark the room is, here's the actual scenario. Super, super dark. And adding some light, flashing here and there. Awesome, right? And here's the low light video test. How are you, Miss Beautiful? You're looking so beautiful and sexy. You must have a very handsome boyfriend. Okay, so what do you think? Looks like you're looking better on the Vivo. And here's the selfie video in low light. This is the quality you're gonna get for both phones. Which one is a lot more good looking? Man, look fat on this camera. And that concludes it. The Vivo V19 Neo is the clear winner. Looks like Vivo has really invested in its cameras. They are incredible. And even though it has a smaller megapixel count, that didn't show up in the actual comparison. As we've seen, better color, sharpness, details, especially in low light. That super night mode is just incredible. By the way, here are the prices for both phones, both offering eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, so you get to take a lot of pictures and videos. So what do you think? Which one was the better camera for you? Let me know guys in the comments below. Let's talk about it right there. Four more comparisons just like this one. Speed tests, gaming, camera, the works. All you need to do is subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.